Real Eye Shape Dog Bone Project. In this video, I'm going to walk through the steps of the Dog Bone Project within Real Eye Shape. I will create a surface body model using the Real Eye Shape features. Now, in this video, we will not be importing any images or raster images or anything. We'll be strictly using Real Eye Shape and creating a surface body model straight from the tools group. So let's begin. Let's go to Surface, Surface Group, and Real Eye Shape. And right away we have our primitive shape dialog box. And we're going to select the sphere out of our drop down menu under type. And we're going to set it to size 50. Let's select OK. Now, next, we're going to make this a symmetric model. And by doing so, let's go to Realize Shape Group and select Start Symmetric Modeling. Here, our dialog box appears, and we have a choice to select for the symmetry plane. This will basically create the symmetry of our model and basically mirror part of our model. Now our shape currently will change a little and I'll show you in a moment. So let's go ahead to our drop down menu and select XC and we're going to select cut body and go ahead and select OK. Now you can also select the XC plane within the work coordinate system as well. So let's go ahead and select OK and notice now how our shape has changed a little. And we also have a cage to one side of our surface body model. This side we'll be working on. This side will just be mirroring what we do over here. So next, let's go to extrude cage under our tools group. Here we have a face or edge that we can select to extrude. We also have a deselect automatically. And what this basically does is with this box unchecked will allow us to select more than one face or edge at a time. Now if I select this box on or put a place a check in it, it will only allow me to select one object or face at a time. So let's go ahead and select this face here and I can extrude by either dragging or by placing a numeric value within the distance, or I can place it in this box over here. For this, we're going to set this at 200 millimeters. Let's hit OK. Now, let's go back to our tools group, and let's go ahead and select split face. Now under split face, we have a choice of either uniform or long polyline. We're going to select uniform. So let's go ahead and select our faces for this model that we're going to be splitting. We're going to split four faces, starting with this one and these other three. And the reason is, is that we're going to place a set of cage faces within this. And we need to select all four sides in order to create a four-sided face. So let's go down to our split. We're going to select reference edge. We're going to select the long side so that our new faces will be going across. We'll be splitting across wise and not long wise. And we're going to set our number to two. So go ahead and select this edge as a reference. And notice here we have the two here. Let's go ahead and click OK. Notice also how the end of our surface body model has changed a little bit. It's a little less pointier and it's a little more rounded. The split face allows us to create more faces so we can create more control with our shape as well as create detail with that. So let's go ahead and move on to extrude cage again. And this time we're going to deselect the deselect automatically and select two faces. and we have an arrow here head we can pull or we can again we can place in a distance. For this one we're going to place 75 millimeters. And notice here our mirror again. Select OK. Now we're going to go to transform cage and this is where we begin to sculpt our surface body model. So let's go ahead and we're going to zoom in and we're going, to, we're going to do something a little bit different than sculpt. We're going to scale. We're going to scale the center portion of the dog bone. So make sure your deselect automatically is unchecked so that we can select more than one object. 
that is again either an edge, a vertice, or a face. So let's go ahead and also we're going to select under our drag normal. And I'm going to select all these edges. And now I'm going to go back and select on one of the edges on top and I'm going to drag it. And notice now I'm scaling. Now unfortunately with with this there is no numeric value that you can scale with. So we can't set it at a certain numeric value. We have to kind of eyeball it to what we want. And this is a good point to bring up at this time is that usually if you have a drawing or an image or something that will help guide you or something that you can match a size to is always good and that's what we would drop in under our raster image um, in the beginning of the model when we would place it on a plane. So let's go ahead and select OK. And you can make this size whatever you want. It's up to you. It's your discretion as to how thick you want to make this portion of the model. Now next we're going to go to Merge Face. In this example here we're going to show how to merge faces that we've created. And we're going to select these top ones right here and we're going to make them all one large face. And as you can see here how it changes the surface model as well. Now let's go back to Split Face and we're going to stick with Uniform under Type and we're going to select the face we just created and remember last time we talked about selecting the long ways and creating another set of faces. Well, this time we're going to select the short side and it's going to create a long line. And we're going to go ahead and select our reference edge. Our number is set to 2. And let's go ahead and select this edge right here. And notice we have the two lengthwise lines. And go ahead and select OK. Let's go back to Transform Cage. And we're going to do a little bit of sculpting here. We're going to select this face right here, just this face. And next we're going to go to under Method, Drag, we're going to hit the Work Coordinate System, WCS, and we're going to select, in this case, this arrow right here. And what this will allow us to do in selecting the Z is it allow us to drag only in that direction up and down. So we won't be able to go sideways or at an angle. If we left it, say, in Normal or View, it would have the possibility of going in a different direction, but this is a safe way to do something if you want to drag something a certain way and don't really want to mess up in doing it. So go ahead and select that and click on your surface that you selected and then go ahead and pull down or you can pull up. For this lesson we're going to pull down, give it a little bit of a concave look, and go ahead and select OK. And then you can start to see kind of the curvature within that. And then finally we're going to look at now selecting the subdivide face. And that's under a tools group. And subdivide face is another tool that will allow us to actually create a little bit more control or a lot depending on how you work this. Is you're going to select a face such as this one and what you'll have now is you have a scaling effect but the scaling effect is not the actual outer surface lines or the edges it's going to be to one that's going to be created as you drag inward and as you can see here we're going to select and drag in you can also place in a number a numeric value within this box or within the offset scale and what this allows you to do is create another set of faces within a face. So and we're going to set that to I believe 22 and select OK. And notice now what we did and this how this allows you now we have now another set of faces and edges and vertices within a large one. And if we zoom out and we hit finish to see what our model looks like and that is Real Eye Shape Dog Bone Project.